is, you know, we've been talking really about the moral reasons why we must support Ukraine. Quite simply, the fact that genocide is being carried out in a European country in 2023. You know, if that's not enough reason to, you know, to fight, then what is? But, you know, I would say to anyone out there, even if, even if you don't care, and there are people that don't care because they just want their own life and they want their fuel prices back down and the cost of living and everything else. Even if you don't care, this wolf will come to your door. Believe me, because Russia is, again, intent with her allies, and China being one of them, with the destruction of our rules-based international order. And if anyone doesn't know what our rules-based international order is, it is basically the um, international system that came out of the rubble of World War II in 1945. And yes, you can point to all sorts of, you can point to Afghanistan and Iraq and all sorts of areas where arguably we've got it wrong and very, very wrong. We've not been perfect and our leaders and our countries have made many mistakes, but it is still responsible for the greatest period of peace and prosperity and security that the world has ever known. So you've got a choice. You've got a choice for a continued and rejuvenated, and maybe we can learn from our mistakes and make it better, rules-based international order led by the United States, by Britain, by the European Union, by other countries in the Pacific Rim, like South Korea and Japan and Australia and New Zealand, and the list goes on. Or you could have a what, um, what Sergei Lavrov called in 2017 at the Munich Security Conference when he celebrated what he saw as the coming asunder of the rules-based order, and he talked about the rise of the post-West era. So you can have what we have at the moment and we can all learn from our mistakes and fix it and make it better. Or you can have a post-West era where actually Russia will be the junior partner to China. And we already know that North Korea, Iran, Belarus, Syria are in Russia's pocket. And we see the malign influence that Russia continues to exert on the continent of Africa at the moment. And we see, and we see the and we see the leanings of, of Brazil and India and these other major countries who are on the fence or leaning towards Russia. So there's, you know, there's an awful lot more at stake in Ukraine than just Ukraine. For me and for you, Joe, and, 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 and Pingo, for you, I know what's at stake in Ukraine is more than enough to keep fighting, and it should be for most people. But if it's not, look to your own self-interest.